chapter 10, lesson 3 is about decimals and fractions as percentages. Okay, so here what we're doing is we're taking a decimal and converting it into a percent. So when we're taking the decimal and converting to a percent, we're now moving the decimal the other way around. So instead of going to the left, now we go to the right. Okay, so also when we convert a fraction as a decimal, there's two ways of doing it. There's You can change the fraction into a decimal, then move the decimal to the right two places, or just make it so that it's an equivalent fraction. So meaning, get it so that it's over 100. So that strategy is really dependent on how nice the denominator is. So if the denominator can be turned into 100 easily, then that's the method that we want to use. Otherwise, we can just divide and then move the decimal to the right. Now, if we put a, a fraction into the calculator, it'll make it so that if you press the SD, it'll make it so that it's a decimal. Then you just move it to the right. Okay, so again, the exercises here comes from pages 55 to 58, and I've selected a few. Okay, so in problem number one, it says express each decimal as a percentage. So since we have a decimal and we want to move, make it a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. So when we move two places to the right, we get eight and then we add on the percent. Okay, so the book has a long version or explaining it. We'll just do the simple method. So just move and then put the the percent sign after moving it to decimal places. No need to stress the kids. Okay, so the next one, if we move to decimal places, we need to add a zero. So remember, when a decimal place ends with a zero, you technically don't have to show it anymore. So this is technically 0.90. So when I move the decimal place of 0.9, two places to the right, that's equivalent to 90, and then we put the percent. Okay, and finally, here we move two places, so that means that's 91%. Okay, now in the next set of problems, it says express each fraction as a percentage. So earlier I said we can do it two ways. We can either divide and then move the decimal two places to the right, or we can just make the denominator over 100. So here, since 20, I can make to 100 easily. That would be times 5. I'll make that over 100. And if I do here, that would be times 5. That makes it 55 over 100, making it 55 per cent. So per cent means percent. Okay. So if we do this one, again, I can easily make the 300 be 100. All I have to do is divide by 3. So if I divide the top by 3, I will get 7 over 100. Again, as we read that, that 7 per 100 is 7 per cent. So 7 percent. And finally, if we look at letter F, this is over 50. So, which means to make it 100, I just times it by 2. So, that means I times that by 2 as well. So, I get 6 over 100, making it 6%. Now, again, the numbers that are given here clearly are easily converted to 100, but not all. So, if you can't easily convert to 100, then that means you're just stressing yourself out to try to make it 100. Just divide and then move the decimal place two places to the right. Or key it into your calc as a fraction, press the S arrow D, F arrow D button, and then it'll give it as a decimal. So that means fraction two decimal F comma D. 
Okay, so which means when it's a decimal, just move it two places to the right. That concludes lesson three of chapter 10. See you in the next lesson.